All right. Today, we're going to be looking at Ranger. Um, this is a character that uh, does pose some issues if you're not really used to the glass cannon style of play. Uh, but if you are used to glass cannon, you obviously don't uh, need me to give you a guide on this one because you're probably pretty good with Ranger. Uh, it's not necessarily a character that has a ton of uh, people calling for advice on it, but I have seen a lot of it lately, so I thought maybe it'd be a good time to do it. Um, so I think Ranger is a really good one to practice uh, the glass cannon. If you'll go back to my Jack video, I basically recommend trying to play Ranger a lot and get good with them because it's the same concept. I think Ranger is definitely going to be easier than Jack most of the time. Um, but yeah, the idea is you mainly focus on offense because your HP is gimped. Uh, we're not going to like completely ignore HP, but this is a character, in my opinion, that uh, that you really should just uh, focus on what the strengths are and, and lean into that a lot. So, you know, plus 50 range, that's whatever. Um, you're getting range upgrades anyway by nature of using guns. You start with a pistol, it's a really bad weapon. You're not going to want to like uh, build on that. But the big thing here, the main thing about this character is that your range damage modifications are increased by 50%. Now that's really only applying to the flat range damage. So uh, there's it, it's like a very narrow character. Um, you know, the range damage, you really have to find it. You really have to, like, jump at any opportunity to take it. Uh, any item that has it. I'd even, you know, I, I used to not say don't go for mutation. I would say in this character, if you're struggling, if you haven't really found much range damage, I would even say take a, a mutation, which is, like, the worst, one of the worst items in the game. But, you know, just to actually get some range damage if you're hurting for it. Um, but that's really the main advantage of the character. You know, like I said, plus 50 range is really nothing. Um, starting with a pistol is not a good thing. And, I mean, it's okay. You're going to sell it pretty quickly. Um, the main thing is the range damage. Now, the not equipping melee weapons is nothing. I mean, you're going to be using pistols anyway. If your only advantage is range damage increases. But uh, the max HP is a pretty big downside. Um so we're going to try our best to just make that HP not really matter by putting together a build that gives us a nice buffer of distance away from our enemies that uh, kills them fast enough. Now, like I said, you already start with a pistol. No sense starting with another one. Uh, I think for sure the only three options here are either SMG, Revolver, or Shredder. Uh, and I lean toward Revolver or SMG just because they simply cost more. You're getting more benefit by starting with one. Now, my, my personal favorite is Revolver, but I think for in the purposes of doing a guide video, I'm going to recommend we start with SMG, just because if you're not like good with Revolver, there's a, there's a bit of a learning curve with it, because it has that reload time. But we're going to start SMG. Uh, we're not necessarily going to only go 6 SMG, though. We're just going to take any good gun that comes our way. Now, if you're wondering what qualifies as any good gun... Every single gun except for pistol, laser gun, and medical gun. There's your answer. Every other gun is good enough to take. So we're going to start SMG. And uh, we don't... I, I used to sell the pistol immediately. Uh, I don't really do that anymore. It's not like that. Uh, the reason I like to sell it is because if you're not aware, the way the shops work is you get an increased... Um, you kind of get... An increased. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it here in a minute. So, so here we don't mind an early harvesting. We want to either uh, the the highest priority thing we want to find is ranged damage. But um, I want these first two waves to dedicate most of my resources to trying to find guns. Uh, if you weren't aware, the first two wave shops always have two weapons guaranteed on every reroll. So it's very important to search for weapons on every single character, not just ranger, but. Well, that's kind of a big mechanic that people might not know, because uh, it's kind of hidden. Um, I'm, I'm okay starting with harvesting. You know, we, we want to get that harvesting going, that's good. Ooh, these are two really good uh, things that I can take. Uh, sharp bullet. Now, sharp bullet is an interesting one. I'd say it's generally going to be good. 
The exception would be uh, if I mainly had like shredders which already have piercing. It's not actually helping. Most of the guns that already pierce you actually don't want sharp bullet with. However, um, the other guns you'd love it with. Now, let's say every run is going to vary from, from time to time. Now, SMG, in my opinion, is a single target. Uh, is mainly for single target damage, and uh, it works well with lifesteal. So it's not very good with AoE. You know, you, you have a few things you need to solve when each run. You need to be able to kill tanks. You need to be able to hopefully sustain... Um, and you need to, be able to definitely be able to kill AoE. And uh, Shredder takes care of the AoE. However, if I already have a sharp bullet, I actually don't really need Shredder. So I don't think I'm going to take Shredder. In fact, if I'm committing to buying the uh, sharp bullet, then I, I probably don't want a Shredder. But normally, if I had not seen sharp bullet here, I would definitely buy the Shredder along with the SMG here. Now... I could take this coupon now and start getting my savings, but I think it's uh, worth it for me just to keep them locked, because like I said, we want to find our guns immediately, and I want to uh, do that with haste. Now, uh, shotgun's also an interesting one. Um, that one, I think, doesn't like sharp bullet, so I'm probably not going to take it, but again, had I not taken sharp bullet, I would be snagging this easily, and we do not take pistol. Oh, and back to my earlier thing. So there's two kind of increases that your shops get. Uh, based on the, the weapons that you currently have. So because I have an SMG, I will have an increased chance to see SMG. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is any tags, you know, the group that this gun belongs to, see how it just says gun here? Pistol says gun, SMG says gun, shotgun says gun. Uh, I also have an increased chance to find gun. So the reason I might want to sell pistol is because I might want uh, to have less pistols show up. And I think I will actually do that because now I've kind of narrowed the guns that I want because I'm committing to the sharp bullet. So I'm going to recycle that and keep rolling here. Mainly I want revolvers and SMGs with what we have right now. All right, we didn't find much. I, I usually roll down to the point where the rerolls cost five. And once they cost five, I don't really uh, keep rolling. We're just going to wait till the next shot. Now, I could probably take the shotgun. If the next shop doesn't give me any revolvers or SMG, I will settle for a shotgun. I just think that shotgun does get its use, particularly gimped by doing the sharp bullet, but uh, it still has really good like close uh, range damage for killing elites, so I could settle for shotgun. Alright, we don't really want any of these. None of these are high priority on our list of stats, so we will roll them since they're all basically useless to us at this moment. These are also not great. Uh, I'll probably just take the speed here just to have a little bit of um, ability to dodge stuff in the map. Okay, revolver. Very happy to see that. Keep rolling for guns here. SMG. Roll again. Uh, crossbow and shredder we don't want. I don't even want a tier 2 pistol, so... We'll, uh, we'll just keep it there. We unfortunately only got four guns, but eh, it happens. The sharp bullet will make up for that. We definitely need to get some range, flat range damage, though, which we have not gotten yet. It's another reason I kind of like starting revolvers, um, is if I do low roll on not finding flat range damage, the revolvers still do a respectable amount of damage, whereas the SMGs don't really. Okay, we don't particularly need attack speed, but it is blue, and it's... Well, it'll definitely help our revolvers. It doesn't help the SMGs that much, but I will take it. I guess I'll take the blue damage. If, if it was uh, tier 1, I'd probably reroll it. Alright, yeah, like I said, laser gun pistol, not good enough. We'll, now we'll get our coupon, we'll get our sharp bullet. Alright, we definitely lock every single one of these. Well, we'll buy that, and then we'll, we'll lock that. That's our first foray into range damage and definitely two high tier weapons that we want I'm getting a little close for comfort just because I'm trying to get my materials as much, as fast as possible but gotta be careful like I said we are glass cannon so we 
it can only take a hit or two, even at this wave. As each wave goes up, the damage that the enemies do increases, and the amount of health they have increases. So the same enemy will be harder each wave, theoretically, unless you're staying ahead of the curve of power. Now this is interesting. I, th I have three things that I, I don't mind, which is percent speed, HP, and armor. Even though HP is gimped, I'll only get four HP here, but like I said, we still want some. Uh, because I'm so behind on range damage, and it's my level 5 uh, level up, which guarantees tier 2 things, I'm going to try to find range damage here, if I can. Oh man, here is really good upgrades too. I may just settle for the harvesting. Harvesting will, by nature, get me HP, since when I level up, I get 1 HP. Um, but it'll also just get me more money. I think we'll take it early enough. Ooh, and SMG. All right, what do we want here? I want definitely the Hedgehog. And I think we'll take the Revolver and SMG and keep that locked. I guess we'll roll for six here. Okay, more range damage. We definitely take that. Uh, the Metal Plate's pretty cheap right now. I do want armor. I think I'll take it. And I don't think we'll take crit. Um, SMG does not really use crit that well. You notice it only crits at 1.5. Revolver uses it well enough, but not really on my priority of things to add. Crit, um, I usually add after I've secured my basic damage, if I can help it, because it does... Uh... Right, hold on one second, I'm getting fucking blown up here. All right, sorry about that. Um, where was I? Check out those trees. Oh yeah, so crit. Uh, crit to me really is more of a mid. To oh yes, there we go. Making up for lost time here with the three flat range damage. Now, keep in mind that's actually more than three. You'll notice I have one now. I take it, now I got six. I'll take some armor. We do want to increase our effective health. You know, armor is much better to add than, than HP because armor is just as effective for me as it normally is. So it's very good. I'll still take more. Uh, I definitely want the bait. If I buy that... Yeah, I can afford this, so let's do that. We'll get a free roll out of that since we bought the whole shop. I will lock another tier one revolver here. Don't, we'll not re, uh, we'll not lock the rest though. So tier six is when a lot of charging enemies uh, start coming in. Uh, just make sure that you're aware of that because they can catch you by surprise. Did I say tier six? I meant wave six. Oh yeah, and we got the bait, so we definitely want to look out there. There we go. But now we're starting to get a respectable amount of damage after that level up with the flat range damage. I also got some percentage damage going. I don't know that it's super relevant yet, but um, we're building it up because it will be relevant pretty quick as we get more and more flat range damage. And we upgrade the tier of our weapons because as the tier of our weapons increases, so does the scaling, at least for SMG it does. Uh, we take this. We don't mind luck. I don't think luck is as important on this character as it is on some other characters, but it's definitely uh, not something we would just pass up here. And I would almost argue you always should take ranged damage over like everything, even if you're hurting for something else, um, because again, that is the only advantage of this character is ranged damage, so snag it while you can find it. I uh, can't upgrade this. We'll just go to 3 and 3 here. Combine that uh, weapon. Alright, we'll take that. Take that. Oh, a purple one. Nice. And definitely take Ugly Tooth. Ugly Tooth with uh, any gun is always really good. Uh, Garden's okay. I don't really want it. Boxing Glove sucks. Especially when I'm already getting the Ugly Tooth. Try 
try not to let those eggs spawn if you can help it. Can't always help it, especially since I did gimp my speed a little bit here. But yeah, Ugly Tooth will be very useful, uh, especially against elites, but uh, particularly against the charging tanks. You're going to have uh, enough range on this character that you can shoot them from pretty far away and then slow them down before they have a chance to, da to dodge at you. Keep in mind, or not dodge, dash at you. Keep in mind, they only dash once they're in a certain range of you, so if you can keep distance on them, they won't really be able to do that. Same goes for some of the elites as well. You can just keep them at a safe distance. Alright, and we want lifesteal. Even though we're not going to have much health, lifesteal gives us effective health. You know, similar to armor, there's no downside to it. Uh, I will take the HP here, just because we have, like, none, and you... You do want some. Okay, it's level 10, so our guaranteed, teeth, uh, guaranteed tier 3 speed I could take. Um, I think I'm going to skip it, though. I, I just I want like some offense. I'll settle for percent damage here, I think. I don't want to spend too much money re-rolling. But I would have much rather preferred flat uh, damage, obviously. All right, take that. We do not want to lose any range damage. Um, I don't know that I need this metal plate. I'm already up to five armor. I think I'll take it though. It's still like pretty cheap. You know, the earlier these rounds are, the cheaper it is. I don't even mind cake. I mean, it's two HP with no real downside. I mean, one percent damage is not much of a loss, and we're at twenty-one HP, which is okay. Uh, I, I want to move toward getting like 40 to 50 HP, and then I'll probably be happy. Uh, I don't need it, though. I can sit around 30 HP usually if I have enough offense. We'll just have to see how things shake out here. Definitely doing a good amount of damage without we're just melting these tanks. We'll see once the horned ones come in though. So these horned ones, right there, you kind of could. I don't know if you could see it. We killed him so fast that you couldn't really. But we're already at a good enough range that we're outside his. Well, we're not. I guess we're not fully outside his dash radius there. But we're kind of right on the edge, and you'll notice the uh, the. Uh, Weird Tooth or whatever it's called, the thing that slows him down, is, is doing a pretty good job at keeping him at bay. So that plus a bunch of damage is how we deal with them. With other people, it's like you just, you very rarely can melt them, uh, so you're going to probably get hit by them a lot. But with this character, you can't really afford to get hit by them, so you want to make sure that they're just dealt with. We can take that, I guess. I already took one. I, I think I'll recycle this. Um, I eventually do want dodge on this character. Okay, I think we have enough armor. Let's get some attack speed. And again, I don't think we really want the shotgun. I know it's tier 2, but uh, I don't think we want it. Now, we, we don't ever need crit, by the way. I said I do like it later, but metal gives us a lot of stuff we want. You know, the HP is gimp, but we just get a little bit of damage, a little bit of speed. I think we can take that. It's a... Uh, efficient. Now, Rocket Launcher we don't take uh, because, I don't know, it's it's a weapon that's not very good at Tier 2, especially for how much it costs. It is a weapon that gets a lot better at Tier 3 and Tier 4, but um, our AoE is already taken care of since we got the Pierce. Let's just take this revolver. Terrified ending I could take, um, but I don't think so. Alright, definitely take that and definitely lock that. Wave 9, this is this, the AoE wave. This is your first uh, time, your AoE check. Now, had I, let's say I'd never found an AoE weapon, um, or I didn't have any AoE weapons and I didn't have a sharp bullet, you're going to really want before Wave 9 to get one. You know, whether that's, a, whether that's a shotgun, a shredder, a rocket launcher, or whatever, you definitely need to, to get something for AoE or you're going to die here. This is everyone's favorite wave, as long as they have some AoE, because it's the big money-making wave. So many enemies. Right. 
Yeah, you know, I'll keep taking these. We definitely got the uh, armor down. Okay, range damage, easy choice. I don't care about regen. Uh, Lifesteal is going to be my sustain. I guess I could take the armor here, but we're we already have enough armor for sure. Coffee, always take it. Uh, SMG, let's go ahead and make a tier 4. There we go. Alright, take that. I don't know that I take the propeller hat. I've already got 20 luck. I guess I'll take it. Padding, uh, it's not a very effective way to get health, unless you're a character like Saver. Or maybe Streamer. I don't typically like stone skin, but we could actually get a pretty respectable amount of uh, HP from it. I'll probably take it into this elite, um, so we'll lock it here. If I face a tougher elite, we're going to be happy to have that extra HP. Uh, we just have so much armor right now that it's... It's immediately positive. Um, I would say typically don't take it though, unless you're in this weird situation that I'm in where I've added a ton of armor but like no health. Because keep in mind the health upgrade is still gimped on it, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to necessarily like pay money to trade off a good stat like armor for a bad stat like HP. Uh, well, I, when I say bad stat, I mean like for this character it's bad because it's gimped but it's kind of a catch-22 because it's like like I said you, you do want some HP and this is certainly a way to get it so I think I can take that and then I really don't need to get take much else HP um, it, it makes it so my armor becomes better in the long run because every armor I take past that is also going to give me HP so I think it's going to be a good item and I'll even I'll take the armor here just because uh, I am you know, buying this. Uh, snail, we don't really need it. Uh, missile's not amazing either, but I'll probably take it here. Since we are running three SMGs. Now, Cyclops from we definitely take. Uh, community support, we should take two, even though it is reducing two of my armor and thus some of my HP. Uh, we'll take that and that. Now, I've already dumped four crit chance, so sunglasses are not worth it, especially since now our armor actually contains health. Uh, okay, this elite should hopefully not be too bad. It is Croc, who is technically the hardest uh, wave 11 elite, I think, but uh, that, I'm not too scared of it. Because we're going to kill it pretty fast here, and we've got enough AoE that, you know, he's dead. Yeah. So you know you're solid if you're beating wave 11 Croc with the build. Wave 11, I think the hardest things you can run into are Croc or, ironically, Horde. Horde is very easy on every other wave, but I think that Horde on 11 is hard because you got the mummies and the enemies. It's actually quite a lot to deal with. Same, And it's the same thing with the Croc. It's like, I was pretty good on, a, on offense here, but if I didn't have the solid... Uh, damage and AoE that I had, Croc could have been a problem. <laughs> useless crap. This item is just like, I think, useless on literally everyone. The only character it would ever make sense on is Streamer, but it doesn't even actually make use of the uh, the temporal speed incre decrease. So it's like literally bad on Streamer too, but yeah, horrible item. Gentle Alien, we definitely take. That's just get us some more economy, get us some stats. We could, we're guaranteed another, another uh, since we're level 15, it's another guaranteed tier 3 upgrade, but I'm actually pretty solid on range damage at this time. Uh, I don't mind taking a little bit of lifesteal here. I think we'll take that. Alright, tier 3 SMG. A little awkward right now, so I'll probably have to go down to two uh, revolvers, but that's fine. The SMG is arguably doing more damage than the revolvers since I have so much ranged damage. Could take leather vest. I mean, I. I said I want dodge. I do want armor. Yeah, we'll take it. The HP is almost negated. We definitely want the pumpkin since we have low piercing damage. I'll take the tree instead of the duck. I don't think I'll lock the duck even. It's pretty late. It's actually pretty late for luck to matter. That like ten luck is is like not really doing anything for me at this point. 
just a wasted uh, bit of money and a wasted slot on the new shop if I lock it, so don't think I'll take it. Also, if you're getting overwhelmed, you can do the uh, typical sit-in-the-corner type strat if you have a lot of piercing, if you have a lot of flat piercing stuff. Even if you have explosives, it's good to group up all the enemies, but we're, as you can see, we're not having any issues, so with two tree items, I may as well keep moving around the map just so I get as many of them as possible. I probably should get some speed upgrade, that's one thing I don't have at the moment. I've neglected it, but you're always going to neglect something. You can shore it up as the run progresses. Priority's always going to be on offense, I will say that, especially with this character. Uh, we could take this. Honestly, I think it's a pretty underrated item. Uh, people make way too big a deal out of the 8% enemy speed, in my opinion. Uh, and we already have the tooth anyway. And uh, even though that, ex that HP is severely gimped, I don't mind it. You know, we just, we increased 11 HP there. That's a lot given that we have 13 armor and 5 lifesteal. Uh, I, I don't mind just taking the tier 1 ranged here. Alright, take that, take that. We'll always take the uh, worm every time we see it. Tentacle, nope. Uh, I don't, it's pretty late for the recycling machine. Um, but I think I'll take it. I think I could still make money off it. Definitely taking the uh, alien. I do not mind the gecko just because it allows me to get more money. I don't think we'll lock the tier 1 revolver. But as you can see, like, we got 50 HP, a lot of armor and stuff. I got a, actually got leeway to get hit, but I don't even need to get hit. So it's like, I think on most runs, this is, this is why I say focus on offense. Like, I could, be, I could be alive just as fine right now if I had 20 HP and no armor and stuff, right? Obviously, I would die in a hit, but have I even gotten hit on this run? I, I don't think I've even gotten hit on this run yet. If I have, I've, I forgot about it. I was talking too much there and uh, lost a ton of resources. Definitely don't do that. Uh, we'll make it up here, though. We just got to pick them up. Blood Leech. I think I'm good on defense. I, I don't need any because I'm just I'm not getting hit. I mean, in that regard, I could I could totally take Triangle of Power as well. Because like I said, we're just not going to be getting hit that much. Um, roll one more time. Okay, take another one of these for sure. And definitely lock this. We should lock the pumpkin. We have one right now, so our piercing damage is still at minus five. We might as well up it again. Okay, we've got an elite coming up. It's butcher, pretty easy. Just make sure you don't get in the corner. Oops. Well, we got. Guess we got hit on this run. I was hoping I was, was hoping I would never get hit, but I ran right into it. Hey, this is why we uh, have a little bit of health, though, you know? As you can see, with the amount of armor we have, our the hits don't do much to us, actually. I can take a, quite a bit here. And then I lifesteal it back pretty quick, so... You don't even have to be that crafty with your evasion if you got your build similar to this at this point. job at picking up my stuff. We have no explosions, so we definitely don't want that. But hey, this is why we take the recycling uh, machine. It already paid off. Don't want that. Do want that. Take, take, take. I honestly could take the weird ghost. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, but, you know, eh. yeah, I'll take it. Too late for me to care about those. 
I don't care about... I mean, we're already taking one weird ghost. Why not take another? Alright, the SMG. Just to make a tier 4. Uh, I don't need to be adding more health. I bought the weird whatever just because. Okay, allies are a really good way to get ranged damage. Um, now, I said mutation you take if you're hurting for ranged damage, but we're not hurting for it, so we really don't need it. Let's go ahead and just go into this wave. Try to get our HP ASAP. Completely unnecessary, by the way, for me to uh, take the uh, weird ghost, but I, I felt pretty comfortable taking it, so might as well. But you did definitely don't need to take it in that scenario. Also just kind of good to get a heat check on my lifesteal. It actually, my lifesteal is not quite where I would like it to be necessarily based on that. It took me quite a while to get back to full HP. So I may be on the lookout for more lifesteal. I think we're only at 8 right now. I wouldn't mind doubling that. But it's not that much of a priority, honestly. Uh, too late for Scar. Uh, yeah, just take some range damage. Take that. Tier 3 shotgun. That is worth considering. Especially because our, our piercing damage has been restored. I think I'll, I will just get rid of the uh, Tier 1 SMG here. And we'll take the Tier 3 shotgun. It's A-OK -okay now. I think it's piercing should be positive. And it's almost positive. See, the piercing's still at minus 20 there. Minus 40 for these. So we still want, like... Uh, we still want to take as many of the uh, pumpkins as we can. Pretty late for Vidring. Hey, this is great though. You know, the more enemies, it'll pay for itself, even this late, but I definitely want the 5% um, life steal. So we'll take that. Uh, Lucky Charm we don't want. Mm, probably not worth me rolling again here. It's pretty expensive. Still takes a little bit to kill those horned warriors. They're quite a ridiculous enemy. Definitely those are the enemies you want to keep your eye out on. This is why I say though, you can never have enough range damage. Like speaking of range damage. Alright, we'll upgrade that. Don't care about the tier one SMG. Okay, tier three. Definitely taking the pumpkin. I guess we'll just Recycle this and take that. Okay, we don't care about the tier two. Baby, I don't even think we necessarily need baby with a beard. Um, it could be okay. Too late for dangerous bunny, I think. Uh, I'm definitely thinking of uh, taking this baby with a beard. Just hurts. It's pretty expensive, and it hurts my rain. Uh, my actual range. It would actually make it half. Which uh, isn't great for like killing uh, elites and bosses. So I probably just won't take it. You can definitely take it if you think you're hurting for uh, for whatever. Uh, I don't. I I usually would always take a Tardigrad if I saw it on Ranger. Uh, I'd especially take it if I was going endless. However, I've gotten so much HP on this run. I don't normally have this much plus armor that I don't think we really need a tardigrad. Uh, I don't even want to roll here. It's 48 bucks. Yeah, let's just go to the next wave. But normally I would take that for sure. But we're just so... We, we've picked up enough defense. 
I don't really need that. A uh, minigun we could take. The only thing is it's pretty expensive and it's not necessarily that much better than our SMGs. It's definitely not better than my tier 4 SMG. 36. Hmm. It would definitely make my life steal A-OK. -okay, because it shoots so incredibly fast. You know, it shoots about twice as fast as a tier 4 SMG. But not quite as fast as twice. But as you can see, it's just like, am I mass? Am I really upgrading even even a tier three SMG? You know, you can think of the minigun as doing uh, roughly double of, in comparison to the SMG, roughly double damage, but still not quite as much. Even if it's just doing double, it's like, you know, we could be generous and say double damage, uh, sixty-two. Or sorry, 72. Um, I mean, that is definitely a big damage upgrade on the Tier 3. Maybe I can get rid of the uh, Tier th 3 Revolver. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Take the Shredder. Or sorry, the sh whatever you call it. Alright, definitely take this. I yeah, we still could benefit from it. And I'll take that. We do have technically 1% crit right now, so maybe I won't take metal. Metal's not that efficient at this point anyway. Uh, not feeling these. Uh, we got an elite. Let's go crush him. Okay, mother is technically hard, but not too hard. Definitely glad to have AoE here. Got her. So we we dealt with uh, relatively hard elites on this run. Wave 11 Croc and Mother. Granted, it's Wave 18, which most elites really aren't that hard at this point. Uh, but Mother would be the exception sometimes. But she really wasn't that hard there. Just had to keep an eye on her and make sure that uh, things don't get out of control. can't remember what the other elite we fought was. Oh, Butcher. Yeah, Butcher's not that hard. Used to be. They nerfed it. Honestly, I don't mind Sift's Relic. Uh, it just makes less clutter on the screen. Someone like me, I love that. Okay, Obliterator at this point in the game is good. I don't usually take it. Um, until it's really late, but it's definitely a really good way to kill um, the final boss. So I think we can get rid of the shotgun for it. Um, you'll notice it's really not necessarily keeping up. I mean, it's it's right there with these weapons, but uh, it's the odd man out if I want to take the obliterator, and I do want to take the obliterator. Eh, we don't need any more life steal. We got the minigun. Don't really need any of that. Don't need any of that. Not too good of a shot, but that's okay. We basically only bought an obliterator. Which doesn't do anything for us this way. It's, we're just taking it to accelerate the rate at which we kill the final bosses. I think obliterator, um, it's weird because like... You'd almost think, oh, is it like an AoE? It's like a rail gun, so it's an AoE, but not really. It's pretty bad at AoE, actually. It's 
really excels at single target boss killing and elite killing. It's almost unrivaled in that as far as the guns go. As such though, I would never really run more than one, maybe two of them. Maybe if you had like all explosives you could run two obliterator, maybe three. Then you're like half and half in single target and AoE dedication. Oop, almost got hit. There we did get hit there. Don't need that. I guess I'll take that. Take more damage. Take more attack speed. Could upgrade our minigun, might as well. Not much else to do at this point. Uh, take a missile, sure. Don't need any of this. Upgrade the SMG, sure. Not much else to do, probably. Uh, take some HP. Yeah, let's just go to the end. Next, for the final fight here. And that's why I didn't take Baby with a Beard, by the way. I already am a little bit low on range that... Or low enough on range that, like... I don't know. I, uh... You know, I, I wouldn't want my range to be further gimped just to get more help with AoE, which I just don't really need help with. Yeah, and there you have it. I mean, that's pretty typical ranger run, I would say. Or typical of any glass, car clan and, uh, glass cannon character. There'll be variations as are there are with every run, but... Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, the obliterator actually did, did not do... Um, did the least amount of damage there, so it was not actually worth it. I don't know why it did so little. Maybe my... That's usually not the case. Usually when I take an obliterator, it by far does the most damage in the final fight, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe these other guns just, uh... Were better. Very interesting. Well, whatever. You can never be too sure. Sometimes the guns just do what they do anyway. Like, you could have this... You, I could have all six of the same gun, and one gun will randomly do, like, a... Th you know, a tenth of the damage that the others do. That's just how it just shakes out sometimes. What did we have? Any stats that are relevant here? Uh, 270 on that. It's okay. How much did we get on our recycling machine? 436. That was definitely worth it. Because we got a lot of items that just weren't that good. We got 14 health out of that. I don't know if that's accurate. It's either, it's either 14 or it's like 10 or something. That's about it. Well, yeah. Hopefully this was useful. Um... You could apply the same logic to a character like Hunter or some, or or Jack. You know, they're very very similar the ways that they play. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.